Okay, in order to uh, successfully use OBS uh, to make a video vlog, you're going to start off with a new blank scene, which is what you see here on the screen in OBS. So we have to add the necessary sources in order for you to make your vlog. So the very first thing that we're going to add under sources, we're going to hit the plus button, and we're going to choose the audio input capture for your vlog simply because um, we need to have the audio being captured of whatever you're saying. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK. You can pick default for this because we don't have any other microphones other than the one uh, that's in your computer already plugged in. So that's what we're going to select. Now you know it's actually working correctly because down here in the lower part of the audio mixer, you can see that the audio is being picked up. So that's a good thing and that's what we need. The second thing that you're going to add to this scene in OBS is when you hit the plus button, you're going to pick a video capture device. And when you choose that, uh, you don't have to rename it if you don't want to, but you're going to click OK. And by default, it'll give you a preview of your webcam. So here's my webcam actually up in the tutorial. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and click OK. Now notice that the webcam isn't big enough to uh, take up the whole screen. So you can resize it by hovering over the lower right hand corner and you can drag it so it takes up the entire field that you're actually recording. In. So now you have uh, your audio being monitored and your video being monitored. The last thing that you need to add is a text item to this scene. The way that you add a text item to this scene is you hit the plus button you scroll up to where it says text uh, GDI plus and you select that. You don't have to name it for this particular project simply because um, when you name it, it's, uh, you know, if you have different text items, you can name it a bunch of things. But in this case, there's only one text item, so you're not going to name it. So I click OK. Now what happens in the preview screen here is in the preview, there's nothing there and nothing will appear there. Uh, until you actually type something into the text field that I'm hovering over right there. The default font is Arial, but you can pick other font styles, um, but we're not going to do that today. So what I'm going to do is you're going to actually have your name. So I'm going to put my name into the text field, uh, and that's going to be Mr. Bailey. And when I do that, I'm going to click OK, and you'll notice that the text field is way up here in the top left-hand corner. What I need to do is I need to actually fix that and move it to center and then I'm also going to reduce its size because I don't need it to be that big and I'm going to center it again. So these are the three things that you need in a video vlog. Once you do that then uh, the next thing that you're going to do is you're simply going to uh, do your recording. So you do your recording by hitting the start record button here in the lower right hand corner. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Hello my name is Mr. Bailey and I am teaching uh, digital design and in this particular class I'm teaching how to use OBS to do a video uh, web blog um, for this class. So now I hit stop recording and what essentially happens is it's done recording. Now anybody who's used OBS knows that OBS saves your video files in your video uh, file folder. So I'm going to navigate to this and when I get to that um, what you'll notice is the video that I just captured uh, is named today's date and actually the specific time and number of seconds that the video started on. And I can already hit play in VLC Media Player. So as you can see, the video is playing, but we're not able to hear it at this point because I, of how I'm capturing this. But nonetheless, the video is actually playing and uh, we would actually have the video done. So that is essentially like how you do a vlog. If you wanted to do a second vlog, all you do is you go to this scene collection called webcam video. All of these sources are still there and then you just hit start recording and then stop recording when you're done. I hope you found this informative today.